For intrepid suburbanites who want to drop down a rung or two and rub elbows with the working class, there are opportunities on almost every corner. Look in! Look in! Got about 12, 13 people here. And what we do is we like to go to the side bars, the dive bars, the corner bars, rather than go to the trendier bars that most of the people in the county of Baltimore would know about. Basically, we're a bunch of punk kids to them, you know, but we're trying to relate on their level. And then a guy got away. Yeah, it's something. It's definitely something. Give me a little history on this joint, man. How old were you bought it? I want to know. Uh, well, I'll be, six, I'll be 64 in October. Take away. Nice to see you standing tall at 64. I like that. It's still boozing. Well, I don't drink too much unless I'm with somebody or by myself. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> unless I'm with somebody or by myself. You know, I might have a drink then, too. I mean, I guess we could be slumming it. You know, Casey's a mortgage broker. Danielle's actually a graduate student. Her boyfriend works for Gatorade. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I guess we, we call it dive bar weekends or dive bar parties for a reason. But I mean, it is taboo to go into them and say, we're at a dive bar. It doesn't get, it's not welcomed. <laughs> you know, like if you say, oh yeah, we're on a dive bar crawl. You know, but I mean, that's pretty much what we do. But you find more genuine people, I've noticed. Last six inches of points. <laughs> Can I buy you a beer? What's your name? Marge. Marge? You're a wildy e. coyote, aren't you? Yeah, I sure am. She's a wild e. coyote. <laughs> It's just so much fun because our families like try their best to get out and like give us a better generation and we're all coming back in to enjoy the city the way that it originally was. 23? Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh yeah. Bless you. Oh my god. Everybody's blessing me. <laughs> me. My son is that old. No. Yes. You're way too young He's to have a son that old. Oh, god. You're way too young. Oh, Guess what? They are not this part. You might fool somebody that's watching the show with that, but you will not fool somebody that's sitting in this bar that is from this bar and belongs to this family. Because we're not buying it. As far as we're concerned, they're yuppies. And yuppies to us, if you want a definition, they're people that live out of this neighborhood, that like to come to this neighborhood and spend their money because they can show their ass and not have to worry about their neighbors seeing them acting like they do when they're not home. That's what a yuppie is. Love. It ain't not much love, baby. Let me tell you something. It ain't not Makes the world go round. Yes, it is. Yes, it does. I know. I know. I'm ready whenever you are, Nathan. I'll show you what I got. Two hangers to win. We're going on the other side. We're gonna go with the hanger, sister. Come on, give me a little touch. Give me a little touch. We're on the other side, look at the hanger. We need the hanger. We need the hanger, baby. There's no reason not to like, come up and give them a high five and to guarantee them the same courtesies that they expect. You know what I mean? She reminds me of my grandmother, you know? I mean, she's sweet as punch. She's playing shuffle ball on a Thursday night. How beautiful is that, you know what I mean? It's total community. It's like she grew up with me. The reason the working class habits appeal to upper middle class people is that it's a mode of getting rid of self consciousness. You just act naturally, that's the illusion at least. But of course, if you look at it carefully, you see that working class behavior is full of conventions, just as much as upper class behavior. You can't escape them. Blue collar life has a lot of, has a lot of pain associated with it. Uh, you know, there used to be 30,000 guys who worked down at Bethlehem Steel 30 or 40 years ago, and I don't know how many there are now, four or 5,000 maybe. I know guys who are in their 
late 30s, early 40s who were hoping to do what their father did, get a good job working on the steel mill, and it didn't work out, and they weren't quite ready for that. Everything in life had prepared them for the blue-collar lifestyle, and then they had this shift of, and, you know, jacket and tie, what? That's going to be me? Two years at a community college, I got to get a college education? Okay, that took some adjusting there. 